What God cannot do. It happened this year during 21 days fast, early January. I took part and one of the days going back to my workplace, my restaurant, they marked everywhere for demolition. I was down, I felt shattered. I said, why this new year? But I kept coming to church. Papa will be declaring what you are afraid of will not happen. I said, amen. It was very serious that people around me, the other businesses, they started demolishing their, or using their own hands to bring down their structures. But I told my staff that I will not. I stood here two years ago to testify how God gave me that spot, that they will not touch my own. They kept warning me, Madam, everybody is doing this. Why are you not, you know, removing your stuff? I said, okay. The day they came to demolished, I traveled. I went to work. I told my staff, you should not touch anything. They called me on the phone. Madam, please, they have brought the bulldozer to bring down the shop. I told them, no problem, but I was not okay. I was so worried. I went to Tuesday prayer, so Lord help me. The old one, immediately I opened, Papa declared, what God has given to you, nothing will be put to it and nothing will be removed from it. I used that word and I calmed, I was calmed. In the evening, I now called them. I said, have they demolished my shop? They said, Mama, they brought, they even snapped the bulldozer, that the bulldozer came. And they started fighting among themselves. They were confused that they did not touch anything. I came back, and though the place was not so okay for me, the money to move to a different location was not enough. I built that place, so I just felt, okay, it's my, it's my money. Let me just stay here. May, June, Papa declared that we should move, to, he moves out to a new season, move into your new season. Today, uh, move into your new season. Uh, move into your new season. Uh, move into your new season. Right now, right now. Even when you are comfortable in the old, that old level, I push you into your new level. I keep, I wrote down everything. That December, that January, I did, I told, I told God I will start partnership. I partnership with God from January. I didn't miss it. I took it serious. Then, Someday in the shop, I was, it was in the evening, I was trying to pack things to another place. A stranger I don't know before, during a mid-year fast, that was June, July, and I, I also took part. The third day into the fast, a stranger came to my shop and like, Madam, I heard your food is nice, so someone directed me here. Yeah, I want to eat a pan cocoa. I said, sir, we don't do it every day. We have days for it, and we are in a hurry to move somewhere. He said, okay, uh, if you get a place in town, if you get go to, out to Wusset to, you make good money. Your food is nice. I heard so much about this place. I said, I know, but I'm, I'm not ready. I have plans for it. He said, madam, go and look for a place. If you, are, if you want, if you are ready, just go and look for a place. What is your budget? I said, okay, my budget for any new shop now is about six, seven million in town, and it's too much to pay in town, to a new shop in town and furnish the place. He said, Madam, just go and look for a place and let me know. I did not, I didn't understand. I said, are you for it? He said, Madam, go and look. So I had to contact agents the following day. Luckily, I got a place that same week. And that same week, Papa was declaring it to happen suddenly. Jesus. At the sound of your Jesus. amen, hear me as I hear the Lord. Suddenly, the Lord increased what was on your hands. I am not praying for everyone. Suddenly, the Lord increased it. Suddenly, the Lord increased it. Suddenly, the Lord increased it. And more than you expected, I killed into it. I don't understand what was coming. I saw a place, and the place is in millions. I said, oh, is this person a scam? Is this person for real? But I said, God, since I'm on my own praying, you know, someone I don't know just came to tell me, go and look for a place. God, let it be a holy scam. I'm ready for this. I'll pray about it. I, I am the agent took me to a place I saw. I, okay, so let me ask the rent. They told me that they don't collect one year. They want two years. And two years is 14 million. I called this person. He was not answering this call. I called, called, called. I said, No. In this PPD, the next morning, I joined prayers. I put, I said, I, I don't know your name, oh, but you said you are a fool and you are a Muslim. I was on my own, you came. You will finish what you started. Immediately after the prayer, I drove out. I now said, I said, please, let me know if you have any change in plan. These agents are disturbing me. I should come and make payments. I've seen a place. Immediately, the person called. I said, madam, I'm very sorry. I, I was busy at work. I, how much is this? Do you, do you like the place? I said, yes. I still had that doubt. I mentioned the amount of money. Immediately, he said, send me the company's account. I sent the company's account. They wired 10.5 million and paid. Just like that. Paid. I've not seen even this thing on phone. I've not seen this person. I said, 
Why don't you come and see the shop? He said, Madam, if you're okay, that's your business. It's not my business. After that, to cut the long story short, I was going back to my former workplace. When I got there, my shop was on the ground. Two locations that I have to, I've been doing business, they demolished it in one week. The old that I was still forcing myself, I said, God, it will not happen. This week demolition came finally, and they brought down all my structures. But God had already prepared a place for me. God had already fixed me. I have asked this person, should we sign an agreement? I want to be my lawyer. Let us sign. He said, Madam, in fact, I can't even reach the I can't reach the person as I'm talking to you now. I can't contact that person. He did it and disappeared. I want to come and return all glory to God of this altar. I am in the ocean unit. I serve God in this church. And God can never disappoint me. What God cannot do.